Kim and I'm Hui Mi. Today I'll be introducing on how a light bulb works. Have you ever wondered how you would live and work in the dark? Before the invention of the light bulb, illuminating the world after the sun went down was a messy and hazardous task. It took a bunch of candles and torches to fully light up a good sized room, and all lamps were fairly effective tended to leave a residue of soot on anything in our general vicinity. When the science of electricity really got going in the mid 1800s, inventors everywhere were clamoring to devise a practical, affordable electrical home lighting device. Englishman Sir Joseph Swan and American Thomas Edison both got it right around the same time, in 1878 and 1879 respectively. And within 25 years, millions of people around the world had installed electrical lighting in their homes. The easy to use technology was such an improvement over the old way that the world never looked bad. To start off, we will introduce the different parts of a light bulb. The glass envelope is a thin layer of glass that surrounds the light bulb mechanism and the inert gases. There is also the mixture of inert gases at low pressures. The bulb is filled with inert gases, also known as non-reactive gases, such as argon. The quartz tungsten filaments are metal wires that glow brightly when electricity flows through them. The support wires are wires that physically hold up the filament. Glass fuse enclosure is a glass that insulates the bulb's fuses and is located in the stem of the bulb. The connecting wires are wires that carry electricity from the bulb's electrical contact to the filament. The screw cap is a threaded base of the bulb that secures it to a lamp. Last but not least, the electrical contacts. They are the metallic base of the bulb which connects to the electrical contacts of the lamp when the bulb is in the lamp. Next, we will introduce how, how a light bulb works. It's screwed in the electrical socket. It creates a circuit, a loop, which allows electricity to flow into the bulb and through the filament. The filament is made out of metal, hot tungsten, that doesn't let the electricity flow very easily, creating what is known as electrical resistance. When the electricity pushes its way through the filament, the filament heats up and gets so hot that it begins to glow. The filament glows brightly enough to create light. Now we elaborate on one of the most important components, the filament. A metal must be heated to extreme temperature before it will emit a useful amount of visible light. Most metals will actually melt before reaching such extreme temperature. Light bulbs are manufactured with tungsten filaments because tungsten has an abnormally high melting temperature. But tungsten will catch on fire at such high temperatures. If the conditions are right, in other words, oxygen is needed. Therefore, the filament in a light bulb is housed in a sealed oxygen-free chamber to prevent combustion. In a modern light bulb, inert gases, typically iron, greatly reduce the loss of tungsten when it evaporates. When a tungsten atom evaporates, Chances are it will collide with an outer atom and bounce right back towards the filament where it will rejoin the solid structure. Since inert gases normally don't react with other elements, there is no chance of the elements combining in a combustion reaction. To conclude, Edison had again made history and his creation would change people's life. The light bulb which made Edison a household name was only one of more than 1,000 patented inventions he created. He has an important place in American history. So every time we turn on the light bulb, remember that without Thomas Edison, we might still be sitting in the dark. It's time to the end of our 